guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. Today I have with me, not Bianca, but Tristan. Yay! I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yep, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming on. And today we're going to be going over, and as of this recording, it's the day you did your Man of Steel video, so it's very timely, Superman Last Son, by, by Jeff Johns and Richard Donner. I absolutely love it. Mm hmm Yeah, this one, and this is a story that came out right after Up, Up, and Away, which I did long ago in one of my earliest episodes, where Jeff Johns takes over, and this is one of the best Superman stories, right up there with Up, Up, and Away, and Donner being involved, it's perfect. This is him going to do a story, because he, he knows the characters inside. Oh, yeah. Him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So now there's some things I don't care for, and I'll get to it when we get into the story. But also we have Adam Kubert on artwork. Back when the Kubert brothers were both at DC, now it seems like they're divided. Adam's yeah. at Marvel, Andy's at DC. I like Andy Kubert's art, though. Yep. Well, I like. Then, I mean, I like Adam too, but yeah. So yeah, and this is also what gave us Chris Kent. Chris, the um, the adopted son of Lois and Clark. I mean, we're kind of getting that in World's Finest, also, right? Uh, we are, and with um, actually, we're getting that in action. I think in both, actually. You're, oh, you're right. Because you're uh, right. Boy Thunder. You're right. No, you're right. You were right. But in this case, though, this is different, and I'm not going to spoil the twist. But let me put it this way: Chris was only meant to last during this arc. But okay. Due to delays, there was huge delays. So eventually, they actually had to be that. Between panels of a certain issue, a lot more time had passed, and Kurt Busick had utilized Chris. And basically, it had to be Chris was around a lot longer than just the story arc because of the delays. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, and you'll notice as we go through, if you look at the dates, right now, December 06, as we get to the next issues, you'll see there's going to be a bigger gap. Uh, okay. So let's dive in. Don't it's forget to hit like and subscribe, guys. Yep. I'll do it for you. I know yep. I hate doing it, so now you got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is Andy doing the cover. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We open up at the Fortress of Solitude, which we never had the movie Fortress until Up, Up, and Away. So Hello. pretty. Yep. It looks like Hello. an ice dildo. <laughs> Hello, my son. It has been a long time since you activated this computer simulation. I know. I've been away. I lived as one of them. Did you enjoy it? Yes. You must remember, where, and you were sent here because you look like one of them, but you are not one of them. Our culture survives with you, and the hope we had for our future can be shared with the people of Earth by you, the last son of Krypton. Eh, what am I looking at here, Olsen? Superman's cape, the corner of it, or maybe it's his booze. That's not what I'm looking at. It's not... I'm looking at a photographer who's going to be out of a job if he doesn't start showing me pictures instead of wasting my time playing guess what I couldn't focus on. Uh, Mr. White, if I c could, Jim risked his neck climbing out of that fire escape trying to get an aerial shot of Superman and Gorilla Grodd. He could have been killed. And I and, and I would have been, and it would have been if it wasn't for Superman. Grodd ripped the fire escape off and I know what happened, Olsen. The Daily Star has a shot of it on their front page. You just helped the competition sell 10,000 more copies. But coffee, two sugars, now. Yes, Chief. This uh -huh. is I love it because they're standing around talking. You know, that happens so much in modern comics. It never happened before. No, I'm just yes, sorry. I sorry. <laughs> my issue is here, though, this feels like, this doesn't feel like a Jit Perry and, um, Low, and, and um, Clark and Jimmy that have been at this for a long time. This feels like early days. Right. That's my problem with this. This feels like, now I love this. How if you look down here, he's listening in on what's going on while still paying attention to Perry. I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's using his Perry looks picture. so, or um, Jimmy looks so little too. That's really well drawn. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, he soon runs off all of Metropolis and Lois marries him. Um, Clark Kent, you're the luckiest man alive. But again, that goes against the characterization of Perry for the longest time, where he knew why. He, Clark was one of his best reporters, but it feels here like they're making him too much like movie Clark and Perry. Fair enough. 
and, I, and, and that's my one downside with this story is when you have moments like that where it feels like, are you disregarding everything that came beforehand? Right. But yeah, I, I'm going to have to call you back. I, okay, but yeah, Adam, this is great artwork from him, isn't it? Oh, beautiful. And, and he looks like, huh? A young boy there, happily having his hand covering it. <laughs> yep. I'm I'm Sarge Steele, director of the department, uh, Department of Metahuman Affairs. Nice to see you again, Superman. We've got our top guys checking out the rocket he landed in. I can hear your crew debating the next room, Steele. They're not having much luck. There's no propulsion system or engine. But my microscopic vision is telling me that the metal that makes up the ship is familiar. Oh, and Steele? You shouldn't smoke around kids. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think he's from? I don't know. Hmm? Take a wild guess. Aw, he's so cute. Yes. What language is that? He's Kryptonese. He spoke Kryptonese? Yeah. What'd he say? He said he was hungry. <laughs> My name is kal What's your story? I don't know. How do you do that? Where are you from? I don't know. But it's not here. This isn't my home. This isn't yours either, is it? We took some uh, oral DNA swabs. We're going to expose us all to kryptonite. Kryptonite? So if the boy really is Kryptonian, we'll know by the morning. And what do we do with him till then? Oh, look at that. Look at that bed. Wait, wait, wait. They're going to expose him to kryptonite? No, 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 no. The cells. They took a Oh, oral okay, okay. I was like, whoa. Yeah, they're not going to do it to a kid. I wondered for a second. Okay, that makes Nobody sense. would never allow that. That, that's what I was like, whoa. I assure you he'll be extremely comfortable here. He's right, Superman. Been a long day for everyone. Let's let the kid get some sleep. kal please don't go, kal Please. Aww. I'll tell you what. I'll be here until you fall asleep, and I'll be here before you wake up. I promise. Aww, Aww. I love it. You're working late. So are you. Thought you might like some Chinese. Hmm. How's the kid? He's in a room full of scientists who take notes every time he blinks. Lovely. I can't help but imagine that this is what would have happened to me if I landed in Kansas City instead of Smallville. Notice that he get that distinction. He doesn't say Metropolis. He says Kansas City, the bigger city. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I like that. That's a good distinction because they didn't go with saying just automatically saying Metropolis. It's like, yep. you, you'd have to be way off to get to Metropolis from Smallville. Kansas City makes more sense. Yep. The government went a sent in a hazmat unit. Yeah, he's talking about all that, and I love this. You think he's from Krypton. You think he's from Krypton? He spoke the language, Lois. He lifted a metal cabinet that weighed at least 300 pounds over his head. And if he is Kryptonian, what then? Clark, Clark, we've had this conversation before. Our lifestyle, your secret identity. Besides, he can't be from Krypton. Krypton is gone, and I thought I was the only one left until Supergirl arrived here last year. Maybe another rocket. Made it out, Lois. Maybe we have a new Superboy. Now remember, Connor's dead by this point as well. This is after oh yeah. Crisis. Okay. So yeah, he's just like, oh, I love it. But you already know, don't you? I can feel it. And look at this. Originally, boy and rocket, Kryptonian boy lands in Metropolis. Aww. Super. Oh, and Superman. Good morning, Superman. Good morning. He's got I'll a teddy. The- oh my god, I love this already. But he then notices it's empty. Uh oh. He drops the bear, flies in. He's mad. Washington D.C. Their headquarters. Um, they're trying to figure out. Uh, so you're saying it appeared out of hyperspace? Hyperspace. Someone else can explain. Uh, Sarge, Sarge, you have a visitor. Best, I'm in with the Secretary of Defense. I don't think this one's used to waiting, sir. And Sarge, sir, you can't go in there. This is a level seven security. Holy, oh, <laughs> he mad. Superman, Superman, wait. Where is he? What? Where's the boy? They told me. They told you. Told me what? Your lab in Metropolis was cleared out this morning. Why would they move him? The tests were positive. He's Kryptonian. They're transferring him right now to another facility, somewhere more secure, somewhere safer. They told me. They told you. Where is he? Shit! He is pissed, and I love it. Yep, and I think Sarge is telling the truth. I think he really thought they were. They did tell him. Yeah, it seems like it. I right. oh, and opportunity strikes. Yeah, of course it does. Yep, 
Oh, and so yeah, they're trying to carry him out, but then all of a sudden, let's just say Superman pulls a Batman maneuver. Gasses the blades, gets in there, gets him out of there. Jonathan? Jonathan, someone's at the door. I wasn't expecting anyone this morning. A young boy fell from the sky. You took him at home. You forged documents. You raised him as your own. Tell me how you did it. Aww. That is beautiful. Yes, absolutely. Yep, now next one, Bizarro! Oh no. Yep. <laughs> I was a trusted member of the Council for years, but when I attempted to convince them of the impending destruction of the planet Krypton, they called me a heretic. They tried to arrest me, as they did anyone who acknowledged and supported my findings. Weeks later, Krypton exploded. You escaped, but yeah, but yeah, we know this stuff. Right. But unfortunately, not, not all of Krypton's historical records survived within the simulation. Some were lost forever. I do not know who this boy is. Enough with this little history lesson. You want to learn how to fly? Yeah. Aww. Aww. You attacked a military convoy. Technically, Lois, but you didn't hurt anyone, did you? It was a few smoke bombs, pa. I'm, I'm smoke bombs, pa. Those young, those young men were only following orders. Those orders came from the government's Department of Metahuman Affairs. They were transferring this boy to a facility that was out telling me. They were basically kidnapping him. And what did you do? This boy is a survivor from Krypton, Lois. That makes him my responsibility. You should have told us what you were planning. There wasn't time, but I'm asking for help now. I wish I could give you two some advice, but what happens to this boy isn't up to us. It could be, Ma. No, Lois, we're too old to raise another child. We won't be around forever. Don't say that. You're our future now, son. And maybe this boy is yours. Between Batman and the rest of your friends in the Justice League, I don't think legal papers or birth certificates will be a problem. <laughs> Paul's right. We could adopt him, Lo and Lois. His picture's been plastered across every newspaper and television station in the country. It'll probably be on milk cartons by tomorrow. What do you suggest we do? Give him a pair of glasses? Well, yeah. Clark, people like Mom and Pa Ken were put on this earth to be good parents. We weren't. You're here to save it, and I'm here to find the truth in it. My sister's the parent, not me. I know you want to help this kid. I know you see yourself in him. But we can't he, We can't do this. We can't be this boy's mother and father. Why? He just spoke English. So, uh, the new, the new, new developments in the disappearance of the boy from Krypton. As reported earlier, both boy and the rocket he landed in were taken from a military convoy, transporting them, blah, 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 yada, yada. They're just talking about, they don't know where he is, and we won't rest until we find him. And, oh boy. Now, by this point, Lex is no longer the businessman. And up, up, and away, he finally lost everything. He's now going to be mad scientist, Lucifer, for the first time in post-crisis history. Awesome. You've been in there for 13 months, watching all that wonderful television. It's time to see the sunlight again, my backwards friend. Fetch me the Superboy. And who did you save him from, Superman? What's the boy's name? What happens to him now? What's with the media circus? They'll keep you and your scientists honest, Steel. I want the world to know who's in care I'm putting this boy in. Aw, uh, come on, kid. Smile. I told the Pentagon uh -huh. this whole incident would have been avoided if and if they'd only try and talk to you before transferring this kid out of metro Metropolis. You're right. We both made mistakes. But we both want, want what's best for the kid. You're going to have to prove it. I want to see where you're putting him, how you're planning on educating him, and who's going to be handling him day to day. Classified location or not, I'm bringing the Daily Planet's Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen with me. And if they find anything that even seems out of place, they'll expose you and your entire department. I don't want to go. It's okay. Lois is coming. Lois doesn't like me. What are you talking about? Of course Lois like Jerm! Up, up, and away! Super I mean, Lois boy. was kind of a bitch. I get why he gets that feeling. Yeah, Superboy. You am not Superboy. You break. Ow! Oh, so he isn't invincible. No, no, no. That's just a random kid. Oh, shit. <laughs> will not break. Fetch, Superboy. Oh, look at this. It's so good. Bizarro, Bizarro you snapped the boy's arm. How about trying to snap mine? Superman. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Somebody help him. 
Somebody help. Wham! Time for me find Superboy now. Superboy, no burn. Human boys burn! Keep your <laughs> mouth shut around the kids. Oh, man, look at him. He's so scared. He is. Be not parking lot. Get off. It's all right now. Everything's going to be. Oh, my God. Me want Superboy. And Chris, and Chris saves him. Well, the kid saves him. He's not Chris yet. Sorry, Bizarro. <sighs> you can't have him. Hey, Olsen, smile. She's going to kill me. <laughs> said we couldn't do it, but I want to try. Aww. Aww. Okay, I take back the bitch comment. I get where Lois was coming from. This is not a case of her being pregnant and getting ready to be a mother. This is a case where it's just tossed on that, their lap. Right. That's why she was thinking that way. She didn't get the mindset prepped yet for it. Now she has. Yep. She realizes the danger. She realizes what it could be. Yep. The boy from Krypton disappears, and suddenly Clark Kent and Lois Lane have a newly arrived foster son. There's going to be a lot of questions, Clark. <laughs> I've spent most of my life coming up with the answers, and it hasn't always it hasn't been e always been easy, has it? Everyone's going to be looking for him. Sarge Steele, the U.S. government, your enemies like Bizarro. Bizarro was sent by somebody, Lex Luthor. Who else could train that backward monster? All Luthor did in the end, though, was prove why how much this boy needs us. What this boy needs is a name: Superman. Not so loud, honey, okay? <laughs> He's got a lot to learn, doesn't he? He learned English in under an hour. He'll figure this out. A name. What, you already have one? It's silly. I picked it out when I was a little girl. Before I got the reporter's itch, I guess. Haven't wait. thought about it in years. What about Christopher? Wait, wait, wait. Did he picked it out when he was a little girl? You know, she did. Oh, Lois did. Okay. Yeah. Chris Kent. I like it. Me too. Clearly, and uh, to, to Christopher Reese, who had passed away yep. at this point. That's awesome. Yep. Unfortunately, now others have shown up in the same pods. The tether has been broken open the and opened the zone. We're free. Thanks to our son. Together, we will find him, Ursa, and the son of Jorel, as you command, General Zod. Come, Nan. Hey, that's uh, Zod's kid. Yes. Oh is. man, I liked him. Don't worry, he won't be bad. Now, this leads to an annual that actually fills in some gaps. Oh, okay. This one is not based in anthology, but we're going to go over it because it is important. The many deaths of Superman. Basically, Lex is going over different ways that could kill Superman. And Art Adams did incredible artwork. You have beautiful. Death, yep, Death by Magic. Death by brutal, brutal Force, as Doomsday had proven. Death by Kryptonite. That, that's all that was. We then see a little bit of, um, who is Clark Kent's big brother? Not literally his big brother. <laughs> I was going to say. Right. But, yeah, we just see nice stuff with Clark and his friends. He just feels lonely. This is before the Legion. But then he finds a ship that comes down, crashes. It's Monel. Oh, I love Monel. They don't use Monel near as much as they should. No, they don't. Especially after Supergirl twisted him. Yeah, yeah. He said, "Son of Jor-El." Now, it basically is a bit of a misunderstanding about things. And then um, now he does for a moment think he is from Krypton. And yeah, they're, but they decided to name himself Monel because he arrived on a Monday. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he's an L family. I didn't know that origin. That's cool. Well, that's for this version. I don't know if that was the exact original version. Right. But yeah, they have fun playing. Look, strike two. Ha! <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. Yep. They're chilling out and everything. But all of a sudden, now he starts speaking a different language all of a sudden. And he, um, he was shouting, you don't belong here. But then when he decided to show him the kryptonite, well, here's the thing about Daxamite. They are weak to lead but unlike with kryptonite where you can get over it once exposed to lead you're gonna die oh wow i did not know that about My daxamite name is Largan. i'm coming from the planet daxam he had studied everything that was going on followed them there so he had mistake due to the stress of everything he mistaken himself for being um from krypton 
Right. But now he's dying, and it cannot be put away. Once exposed, it's irreversible. This is why he goes put in the Phantom Zone and won't be released until um, the Legion time, where they have the cure. Oh, dang. Poor Monel. Now, there will be a point where he'd be released in present day and take over for Superman while he's on Krypton and new mm-hmm. Krypton. But yeah, oh, for guy. now, he, what? I support a little guy. Yeah. So yeah, now he's back to being alone again. Aww. Nerd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, Mystery Under the Blue Sun. This is by Joe Kubert, and we just see some Sanagarians being attacked by, well, there's Bizarro World. This was to set up the arc after Last Sun. Kubert from the School of Kubert. Joe Kubert, yes. Okay, I was just making sure it was the same Uh, one. Andy and Adam's dad. Yes. Oh, look at this fortress. Jeez, oh, Pete, look at the detail in that. This is uh, Phil Jimenez. Oh, my gosh, really? It doesn't look like his style, but I... Well, it's because it's so early out. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my goodness. I You have to send me a... I want to look at that page in detail at one point. I will send you. Beautiful. That. All right, now, here's the bit where it's now very much like Superman um, 78, the criminals of Krypton. But here's where things are very different. The evidence has been presented. The decision of the council has been heard. I'm sorry. You are only serving and serving to save us, and damn yourself, jor You know this even if the council does not. The insurrection you three chose to embrace has only resulted in death and destruction. And what of the barbaric torture put upon non jor Who will be judged for that? I can assure you, judgment is coming for the rest of us, Ursa. Enough, jor And uh, you will continue to remain silent about your Orlando series, or you will Ursa, join these three That's who it was in 78, and it was Fio... Fiora in yes. in a steel. Okay. All Very right. Different. I, yep. Yes. Fiora was her original name in the comics. The movie didn't have the rights to that character. That's what it came with, Zod or Zanon. Okay. All right. Makes sense. But yeah, basically now they're told like, as for this minus apparition, his fate is well deserved. Urgh. Though you would um, advocate to exile Krypton's criminals rather than execute them, I will never understand. They break free and kill that one guy, and uh, mm. that one council member. Trust me, he deserved it. Fair kill enough. Kill them all. It turns out we then rewind sometime earlier. That's none before he got his mind removed. Oh, wow. He was uh, Jor-El's mentor. Oh, wow. And they had found the fight. The fight. They, they had discovered both together about what what's going to be happening to Krypton. There are no scientists across as Krypton, including myself, more respected than you, jor That is why, despite the Council's orders, I offer to analyze your recent findings. And now it seems the student has become the teacher, the teacher, the student. You have exceeded all of us. Okay, oh, I wow. love that. It's like, father becomes the son and the son. Yes! Student. Then you understand the severity of the situation. I'm afraid I do. Our planet will explode within the next 90 days. And by this point, of course, kal has been born, and unfortunately then, um, Zod shows up. As appointed leader of military defense by the council, I hereby charge you with heresy. Ursa, place them under arrest. You are under word, uh, uh, you are, uh, you utter another word, Laura. Your son will be without either parents. Showing that how, now, here's the thing about that. I find Zod is more complicated in this version. Right now, he's just following orders. Hers is being right. a bitch, but she's just following orders too. Right, and that's what they were they were born into that. They feel like yeah, essentially no, that's all they have. That's their exactly. soul. Exactly. But then Nan decides to try and peel to um Krypton, igniting some, you know the panic in some instances. Hold your position, General Y. The council hid Jorel's finding from us. They lied to us about why we were there and they went to arrest them in the first place. You actually believe his ridiculous ramblings to be true? I wish I did not. But then to shut up Nan, that one Kryptonian had him taken, and when they found him, he basically lobotomized him and took away his mad genius forever. Dang. And that's that's cruel as fuck. And that's what led to Jor-El being, uh, and to Zod, I mean, wanting to do all this. They decided Uh to attack the council before they were stopped. Gotcha. They deserve to die for this, Jor-El. They will not die. 
The sentence has already been decided. And according to council law, it cannot be altered. Meaning even though they kill people, it can't be undone. He will be placed within the phantom zone, an eternal prison, but a chance at life nonetheless. You will not deny me my revenge, Jor-El. You will use and you will you will use your science to save the planet Krypton, and one day we will return. And when we do, I will be Krypton's ruler, and then I will make you the slave to me that you are to the council. You will kneel before me, both you and one day your son. No, General, son. I will not, and neither will Kal-El. Awesome. They had to homage seventy-eight. They had. It's so good, though. With that, Krypton's fate was sealed. Our planet would die, but my hope for the future would not. Then we see some of his the villains: Luther, Brainiac, Zod, Ursa, Non, Bizarro, Parasite, Mixie, Metallo, and Toy Man. Then we see the deadliest forms of kryptonite. Just a brief summary: Red makes him go; just has random effects that last a short while. Blue. Gold, gold normally would have been permanently removing it. It actually would later be made clear it's a temporary removal. Gotcha. And then they're all being put into Metallo. Oh, up in the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a great cover. That is. But now we get up to, yeah, the, and the next issue. As now we see very similar. Hello, my son. Can you believe it, General Zod? The simulation of jor is actually thinks we are Kal-El. His entire pro- fortress has been programmed to allow Kryptonian complete access, Ursa, because jor thought his son would be the last of us, along with Supergirl. And when the final phase of your war plans begins, we will deal with kal cousin. Harshly. These sunstone crystals are the only remaining source of Krypton's history. Let's see what this history says about me. Father. Yes, my son. Tell me about General Zod. To tell you the story of General Zod is to tell you of the tragedy that precedes Krypton's own. Basically, he goes over everything that we just saw everywhere else. We also find about other brilliant scientists that were sealed away. Quexil, Toran, Nadria, Van Dim, Azrael. So many others. Wait, different like, Azrael, right? Yeah, Azrael. Okay. okay. Yep, there's a dash. <laughs> um... Like, you dare call us criminals, jor We could have saved Krypton together, but you refused to join us. Instead, you only sealed your own fate, Earth's fate, and your son's. The guilt of their fate. And he basically, the program just keeps on acting like it's, you know. <laughs> That's a beautiful <laughs> spread, though. Oh, it is. I will not listen to your fictitious history any longer, jor You know what the Council did to Nine. Do you see this, General? Beyond the Sunstone Crystals. What a strange home and home, and home Kal has created. There are monuments to its parents, replicas of Earth people, and an interplanetary habitat of extraterrestrial creatures on the verge of extinction. Superman appears to be quite sentimental. Like his father, it will be Kal El's undoing. The Phantom Zone viewer and projector. After all these years, we gain, gain upon, gaze upon it from the outside. I can almost hear Monel crying out as he flies on the edge of sanity. Seconds from death, forever trapped in that wretched void. That wretched void, my dear Ursa, holds the key to our future, as does our son. Now, it's basically this here is where you could say, like, in between moments, things like that between this page and the next one mm-hmm. is where you think everything Kurt Busiek did happened. Okay. So, yeah, basically, like, I think so. His name is Christopher. He's 12 years old. He's from New York City. And he's my cousin's son. I thought he was my cousin's son. <laughs> Batman had it all figured out. Who's Batman? Someone you're not meeting until you're 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no that's better, cute. No one's better at clandestine paperwork than Batman. He set Wonder Woman up with a secret identity that fooled the Department of Metahuman Affairs. Who's Wonder Woman? Someone you're not meeting until you're 18. <laughs> Lois! Oh my god, that's so... She's already protective. I love it. Do you remember what you're going to say? Hi, it's nice to meet you. And what else? Nothing. Great. 25th and 5th floor, reporters and Kryptonians. Lois, relax. This is going to be as easy as putting on a pair of glasses. Have you yeah. a lot like Brandon Rouse? Yeah, kind of. You're right. I can like, see it. Returns have been out by this point, too. 
Right. <laughs> As he, I, everyone on still and still on from the boy from Krypton who disappeared. Olsen, Olsen, where the devil are you? Justice League of America has offered her help in continuing hunt for those responsible. Lombard troop, you seen Olsen? Nope. Sorry, Chief. He got two seconds to produce one good picture of Super Baby before I lose he lose his next paycheck. The computer mm-hmm. is the single most important story since peanut butter met chocolate. And he's putting <laughs> on a pair of glasses, huh? Toom. Well, technically he got what Barry wanted. <laughs> Wait, how oh yeah? Wait, what yeah. did it get broke? No, no. He didn't realize no no. He just took a poem a pill of Chris. But he doesn't know that that's the super kid. Aww. <laughs> Hey, who's this? He's my cousin's son. Whoops. <laughs> What's that? They said they said at the same time again. Oh my god. Hey, nice to meet you. Ooh. Get down. Watch out. Better hit the signal watch. This looks like a job for take Chris and get to the stairs. What is it, Clark? What's going on? I don't know, Lois, but I'll put a stop to it. Oh. Wow, Bobby that's Clark. a great shot. Hey, my mom bought this suit. <laughs> yes. Hello. Are you, are you talking about the the biz, the other suit? Oh, I missed in both of Man of Steel and Seventy Eight that line. My mom made it for me. Yep. Hello, Kal El, Superman, or should I call you Clark Kent? You have obtained obtained glimpses, and we have obtained glimpses into your life on this primitive planet for decades. And yet, I have never understood your motive for self degradation. Your father would be disgraced to discover you masquerading as one of these sub-Kryptonians. Uh, on, you've embraced their culture and abandoned your own. General Zod. You know of me, kal I've studied Krypton's history. You're wearing prison uniforms. You and your friends are criminals who were exiled to the Phantom Zone. We are not criminals, punt! Give and give me the child, woman of kal When am I, kal Release my son! Your son? No, I don't want to go with her. Please don't let me make me go. You belong to us, Lord Zod, and we still have a use for you. We are rebels who had an opportunity to save Krypton, but we were denied because of the actions of your father. I don't know how you escaped, but as soon as I get a few hits in to remember me by, I'm sending you back. Let go of my son. Oh, jeez, Lois got, I hope that was weak, um, heat vision. The so, future of Krypton does not re- re- rest with you any longer, kal Krypton's last son is not jor Krypt- and Krypton's last son is mine. And with him, Earth will belong to me. I will take this planet as you should have, uh, have and transform it into new Krypton. What fragile creatures. Ooh! To both so, like, is, is Chris um, he is biologically their son? Yes, but we'll get to, there is a way of explaining it. Okay. You and what army, General? Superman, <laughs> help! This one. Crap! That is such good. Oh, I love it. Jaxur is free! I am here to do what your father could not. I am here to save our world. Farewell, kal Oh my god. That is so good! I want that picture too, by the way. So do I. Now, <laughs> let, me, let me back up a bit to um. No, I, yeah, there we go. Because as you can see, February twenty eighth to July, and then from July we wouldn't get the wrap up until May two thousand eight. Oh wow! Now, interesting thing about this: this issue also was done in three D. They came with three D glasses and everything. For uh, the- those, oh, I, I haven't seen one of those. In, I didn't even know they did them in the 2000s. They did for this one for the Phantom Zone portion. Oh, that's so cool. Superman, Superman, help me, Superman. Superman's not the last son of Krypton. My son is the last. Help me. My son is the last. He belongs to us. Help, he belongs. Help, help. Like, ooh. Like, ah. Like, I know, I know you want to fight it. But, and that, and that's the worst thing you can do. What's happening to me? Your eyes are readjusting, uh, are re- readjusting to the Phantom Zone. Your heart is slowing down and your body's density is evaporating. You need to ignore the sounds and images leaking in from the third dimension. If you stare at them too long, you'll go quite mad. Who? I know! Yep. You knew me. That's why I went, I went with the annual. You needed it. I love, oh, this is so cool. 
Yeah, he reminds him about all that. We already know the story. I -hmm. remember. You were the only innocent ever sent into the Phantom Zone, and I was the one who put you there. I promised you that I'd find a cure, but every time I've tried, I've failed. I failed you. I failed Lois and Christopher. I failed Urs. Not yet, you haven't. It all started when General Zod found this. Wait, wait. Yeah, found this. It was a Kryptonian prison called Fort Roz. How did it get into the Phantom Zone? Dev M was to be sent here for crimes of murder and perversion. But before his GOs could activate the Phantom Zone projector, riot, a riot broke out. During the revolt, the projector exploded, and the entire prison was transported here. The metal's solid, and if anyone enters, they become solid too. Because unlike the rest of the Phantom Zone, time passes inside Fort Ross. So that's how General Zod had Christopher. Okay, so words, they, they, they yeah, had sex. In there... For the pure, all for the sake of having a son that could be sent out. Aha, uh-huh. okay. I was just curious if they had like a birthing they chamber did. or natural reproduction. Oh, they do have a natural reproduction. I like and, that better. I was never a huge fan of the birthing chambers. Yeah, I mean, it works fine for post crisis, but I think Man Steel went too far with it. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Yep, it's hard to believe he's one of them. He seemed so terrified when he saw his father. He should be, Cal. Zod and Earth have abusing the, their son for years. Aww. Because he was born here, Christopher is somehow immune to the zone's effect. Even outside of the prison, he never transformed into a phantom. Zod and the others manipulated the phantom zone technology inside the fe- prism, prison and were able to send Christopher to Earth. Once there, Christopher's rock, rocket kept the doorway he created open. They built the rockets inside. If time starts up for you, you'll be dead in a matter of minutes. You can't go in there, but I can. Cal, wait. Dev M stayed and stayed when the others left. He's still in there. And in the zone, there's no yellow sign. You won't have any powers. Neither does he. Zod said he'd banish you here. So I volunteered to wait. Dev M, I presume. You've, have, you lost your, have you lost your mind yet? I'm to cut it from your skull if you have been, son of jor The name's Superman. General Zod told us of your father's failings. It was his fault Krypton wasn't safe. He knew, but he chose only to protect you. My father did everything he thought he could. If he had worked with Zod, he could have destroyed the council. My father wasn't a murderer. He abandoned you as he did Krypton. And now you die as you lived on Earth, Kal-El. Alone! He's not alone. Oh, Manel. What are you doing? Helping a friend. The lead poisoning started again. I've got to get you back into the zone. Cal, do you remember Hush. the day we met? I said I, I, I said, I said I never met anyone who understood me before. I never told you. I didn't either. Manel, I'm sorry. Okay, what is that face? Uh, sexy, sad. A little, I look, <laughs> I look a little bored. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Poor Manel. The trip home will be painful and dangerous. Not every rocket made it to Earth without breaking apart. That's a risk I'm going to have to take. When you get out, when, get, when you get out of here, we're, you know, you're going to need a, a world there to welcome you back. I'll make sure you have it. Good luck, Cal Al. Makes his way back. Oh, he's flying saucer. Looks like cheese. So yeah. Out of all the Earth women on the planet, Kal El has chosen you to help complete his human masquerade. You're, now, this is before they ever decide to have it be that he, they could have kids. Your okay. biological inferiority prevents you from bearing his child. What can you possibly give someone like him? And what do you offer Zod, other than the fact you're the only female I see flying around? I am the last female Kryptonian by my choice, human. But that is not why the General has chosen me. Ursa! Do not harm her. This lowest lane is of no use to us anymore, General. She is of use to me. Oh! Oh, goodness. There is a, and you can read out she's feeling jealous. Yeah. <laughs> there is a reason kal settled for lowest lane. I wish to find out why. Oh! Dang! Uh, what? Chris. Jim! What do you think you're doing? What Superman would do? Your short time frame from the Phantom Zone has confused your loyalties, Lord Zod. You will remember they lie with your father. I'll make you remember. I warned them all for years. 
Do not put your faith in Superman. He will not save humanity because he is not human. He is Kryptonian. And the world finally sees Kryptonians for what they are. Yet they have no idea how to stop them. They aren't prepared. Lucky for them, Lex Luthor is. <laughs> as soon as the world's in trouble, you retreat right to your rat's nest. I would have cleaned up if, if I knew you were coming. <laughs> You've spent years trying to kill me, Luther. You've unlocked every way to hurt me. You've built hundreds of weapons to do it. Mind if I borrow them? <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. Boom, boom. I, I, I'm all for saving the world from Kryptonian Superman. It's what I was put on Earth to do. But I won't be teaming up with you. You will be teaming up with us. That is freaking awesome. It is. And now for the grand finale. There are uh, Metropolis. Are they oh, my goodness. Portraits there. Oh, my goodness. There are plenty of ways to kill Kryptonians. The gun, and these guns are powered by nuclear solar fusion energy designed to harness and manipulate sunlight. They shoot miniature red suns, which, as you know, can weaken and burn a Superman. This radiation right, these radiation rifles have been calibrated to mimic the wavelength of green kryptonite. The lasers aren't a perfect match, but they're close enough to pierce the Kryptonian skin. And of course, I have the rest of my Superman Revenge Squad itself. Brainiac and Bizarro's brute power, Parasite's life-sucking cravings, and Miss Tallow, with the man with the kryptonite ha a heart, now equipped with much more than that. It's a regular Boy Scout troop, loser. Unlock my lead line compartments, loser. Let's see what my different colored kryptonites can do to Big Blue. We don't need kryptonite, Corbin. I could permanently absorb his powers if you gave me a day or two with him alone. Urgh. We don't have a day or two to waste, Parasite. General Zod and his fellow inmates have captured Superman's ally. Metropolis has fallen. I was put on this world to save it from Kryptonians, and that's what I'm going to do. With your help, Superman. You say you have the power to kill me, loser. So why am I still alive? I'm alive because you know you can't stop General Zod without me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yep. Like all the other sheep in Metropolis, I'm afraid to strive for new heights because I could never become what the great and powerful Man of Steel is. You taught you may to rely on you and not fight for themselves. That's why General Zod and his armies were able to take control. I kill you now and you're a martyr. You survived this and the world finally sees Kryptonians for what they are. Alien invaders! You lose everything. Their undying trust, their endless love. You underestimate the people of Metropolis. And you overestimate them. They need someone to wake them up. They need someone to show them that they can reach the stars without you flying them up there. They need someone human to aspire to. And that's you. <laughs> I know. It's not for you. If not for you getting in my way, Superman, I would have done so much more for humanity already. I would have helped those who can't walk walk again. I could have cured cancer. I would have saved the world from this filthy pit of its lack lack. Lack of discipline existence. You leap over tall buildings. You outrun, outrun speeding bullets. You juggle locomotives. How does that inspire anybody to be better human beings? Have you really looked at the situation we're in, Superman? You've claimed for years that you were the last son of Krypton. In truth, there were dozens of others. Your people simply chose to imprison and forget. Now they're free from this pocket dimension, this phantom zone. And they're all criminals. Say what you want about me and them, Luther. But General Zod's son is not a criminal. He's an innocent. This was brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Jack Sewer has reported a human military unit moving in from the South, General. Well then, let's welcome them to Metropolis. No, stop fighting. It hurts. So did the heat vision you unleashed upon me, Lord Zod. My name is Christopher Kent. No, it is not. You are mine and Earth's son. You are Lord Zod, the last of Crypt son of Krypton. Kal El embraced these loyally humans as you wish to. He walked among them. He pretended to be one of them. But all along, Kal El should have done what I have done. He should have declared this planet new Krypton. He should have forced these sub Kryptonians to take their places beneath him and make them understand that they, when they look up into the sky, they do not see their savior. They see their better ruling over them. Oh, my God. oh the military. Bring them to their knees. Oh, find their leader, Ursa. I wish to speak with him. Of course, General. Our, and got our butts in a sling here, Steel. Where's the hell is the military and the air support? 
Sarge Steele. And Sarge Steele, do you copy? Come, Earth Dog. Do you know who I am? Everyone knows who you are. Good. Then everyone knows what I can do. I will spare your life so that you are able to tell those who already know what I can do, what I am willing to do. I will settle for nothing less than total and complete obedience from all underneath me. I will all destroy all those who defy me, including my own son. Mom! What? Oh! I love that. How Stay they here. have the, yep. the rainbow. That's the word I'm looking yep. for. Stay here, Chris. Kal-El, General, son of jor -El. The name Superman's on, and you lunatics are done hurting that boy or anyone else. Oh, you are going and you are really going to kill him, weren't you, Zod? You were going to kill your own son. Unlike your pet Lois Lane, I can always make another. Ugh. What? What oh, a fuck? Non versus Bizarro. That's perfect. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> What's taking you so long, Corbin? Kryptonite poison doesn't happen in a snap. It takes time, like leeching their life energy. Yeah, this one, and this one's strong. I always like the strong ones. They taste better. <laughs> they fight back. Makes it more fun. Speaking of fun, let's switch it up with a little red kryptonite. What's it do? Ba and look at Ant Head! Oh my god, that's awesome. And he steps on it! <laughs> uh, 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 how about bringing that green K back? Now, nah, Rudy, I already know Lutzer has been using the blue kryptonite to keep Azara in line, but I've been dying to try this other one. Gold kryptonite. Boom! Lutzer theorized it temporarily negates their powers. Splat, 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 splat! Sweet! Oh my gosh. <laughs> their, their crystal hive is empty. I've, it looks like you've gotten in their intention. Just stick to the plan, Lutzer. Of course. I left the door unlocked and, and for you, Superman. I'll break away as soon as I can. Most of the rockets they use to escape the Phantom Zone are strewn about the streets in pieces. But as soon as they find one that hasn't been damaged, this will be all of... Ah! Intruder! <laughs> uh, before I dismember you, human, you will tell me who you are and what you're doing here. I am the greatest science on the planet and would be on yours. I am the one de and destiny has chosen to save humanity. I am Lex, Lex Luthor. The kryptonite dust you're hailing will clog your lungs. The red flame will burn your skin. But I am Lex Luthor. I am Merciful. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to kill a Kryptonian. Feels good. Oh, goodness. Lois! Clark! I was, I'm was. i sorry I wasn't here. There's nothing to be sorry for. Christopher? He's safe on the edge of Metropolis. I need to get him as far away from this fortress as possible. After Luthor launches a... Lex Luthor? You're lurk working with Luthor? Under the circumstances, I don't have much of a choice. Ooh! It's one against dozens, Kalel. Not anymore, Zod. On my way to this cell, I unlocked all the others. Ooh! Oh, that's awesome! Even Red Tornado, freaking awesome. Yeah, well, yeah, he was part of the league at the time. Yeah. You believe and your superhuman allies have the strength to stop us, Kalel? They are a little more than insects in our way. Violence is all you subscribe to, isn't it, Zod? Had you embraced, uh, your father embraced violence, <laughs> You okay? Yeah, Hush has been in a mood all fucking morning. Uh, Krypton would have been safe. You wouldn't have to live of an, the life of an outsider in this primitive world. Had you uh, uh, hiding what you truly are, who you truly are, living a lie to gain any amount of acceptance, you would have had a family, Kal-El, a super son of your own. jor not only failed Krypton, jor failed you! jor should have stood again, repeating the same stuff. And mm -hmm. what would the general do after solving the council, Ursa? Uh, the destruction of the council would have caused riots. No one would have listened to a thing you said. General Zod had no idea how to save Krypton. I would have found a way, kal -El. What way? Tell me how you would have saved your planet. Tell me what you would have do done. You're as much of a fool as your father. I led Krypton's military against Brainiac after he disintegrated Kandor. He didn't disintegrate, but he doesn't know that. I decimated the doomsday terrorists before they unleashed their monster. I would have found a way. Brainiac and Doomsday. I can see why Krypton's um, you know, inevitable destruction would have pushed him over the edge if he had to deal with those. Oh, yeah. In a way, I hate Zod, but I also don't blame him for going nuts. Right. No, I get it. 
Especially Brainiac. That would have devastated anyone who failed that. Yep, exactly. Leave him alone. Chris, and Chris, there you are. Chris, no, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of Retropolis right now before it's too late. What are you, babe, what are you doing, Lex? Why I'm saving the world from aliens, Miss Lane. It's Mrs. Of course. I apologize. You know, basically, he's going to be sending it back out there. And once it does, anyone that's been in the fan zone is going to be pulled right back. Including Superman. I was disciplining her. Sorry. <laughs> uh, did you hear what I said, though? Yeah. Uh, anybody yeah. that's including the, Superman. Yep. Now, he didn't tell. He did not tell Superman that part, though. Uh-oh. Yep. Hey, look, it looks like Luther did it. Too bad. I was hoping this lasts a little longer. Zod, you've defied me for the last time, boy. No, you've abused your son for the last time, Zod. The absolute last. Zod? Oh, shit. Ursa, none. I did, I, I did it, didn't I? I say, and I, Lex Luthor, saved the world. Oh, tink! Oh, shut up, Lex. <laughs> no, I will not go back. Goodbye, General. You don't know the horrors, the other horrors that look was in the shards of the Phantom Zone. Kal-El, the next time I break free, I will unleash him upon your adopted world. You will answer for your father's sin. This is something that actually um, Paul Cornell will tie into when leading up to Action Comics 900 when he did the Lex Luthor leading the book. Oh, okay. Yeah, which I, that was phenomenal that they actually tied into that. But yeah, now they're trapped again. The rocket. It's one of our rockets. What? The rocket's keeping the fan zone open. I need to go to it. No. I opened the zone. I think I'm keeping it open. I have to go back. No, we'll find another way. You and Lois already gave me so much. A home, family, and friends. I even no! got to meet Robin. This isn't the end of any of that. I can close the zone. It's okay, Cal. Just hold on. Thank you for everything. Chris! No! You, Chris! Up, up, and away. No! Oh. That's Lexus terrible. Bizarro still missing. Mattel and Parasite caught in Gossam. I need one more headline. So, and something big, epic and big for a wrap-up on this Phantom Zone breakout. Something that tells the whole story. What do you got, you two? I'm thinking, Chief. What's wrong, Jim? Well, besides my favorite pizza place having a tank thrown through it, I feel awful for that kid. They say he got sucked right up into the Phantom Zone and everyone with everyone else. And from what Superman says about the fan zone, it isn't any place for a kid. He wasn't like his dad, was he? He wasn't like a anything like General Zod, Jimmy. He was a good kid with bad parents. Speaking of parents, when are you two going to have a go? Uh, that's <laughs> kind of a personal question, Mr. White. Ah, nice job, Lane. I knew you'd nail it. If you did have, if you did have kids, Lane, and Kent would have to play Mr. Mom. I can't lose my best reporter to maternity leave. I don't think oh my are in the future anyway, Perry. Olsen? Yeah, Chief? Run it! Kryptonian, Kryptonian boy saves Metropolis. It wasn't that boy. It was me. I am sorry, my son. I had hoped the Council might be convinced of my findings, signaling the impending destruction of the planet. Instead, it was General Zod who believed me. His madness and violent insurrection only condemned my series further, and later threatened you. I know. Though, uh, though I am certain there are times you wish it was, were otherwise, kal -El, you were sent to Earth because you look like one of them, even though you are not, in, you are not one of them. So that's what he says, I know. A human and Kryptonian are incapable of bearing a child together. Again, Dan Jurgens will tell you otherwise later. Right. I know that too, Father. Somehow I've always known. You are the last son of the, the House of Cal. In that respect, I failed you. You didn't fail me, Father. You gave me a chance at a life. And for that, I'll forever be grateful. Anything, Monel? Not yet. Wherever Chris is, he's not with Zod, Urza, or any of the others. They've retreated to what's left of Fort Roz. The Phantom Zone's a big place, Cal. It might be endless, but I'll never stop looking. Thank you. Ah. Uh? We get some, um, just a brief, you know, secret or uh, origin, you know, file stuff with artwork by Stephanie Rouse, or Stefan Rouse. Oh, good. <laughs> and that's it. That was awesome. 
It was See such a I good mean, palate cleanser. Oh, Man of Steel, though, and you can feel in this, right? Oh, yeah. And, and see what I mean? No, this is Man of Steel done right, if you ask me. Well, it would have had to have the Lois and Clark relationship previous. Oh, yeah. But yeah, but oh, it yeah. could have been reworked. Especially with Zod. Look at this yeah. with Zod. No need yep. to kill him. They found a way to do it. And it's because they're right. They could. The funny thing is, they just wanted to have a big fight. That was the problem mm -hmm. with Man of Steel. Spectacle over substance. And that damaged the character because of it. Yeah, absolutely. That was such a good story comparatively. I want Chris back. Yes. I Has he ever come done. back? Uh, sad, sadly, he has. But unfortunately, in Rebirth, he's now more loyal. They, they, they recreated him to be loyal to Zod. Oh, that's that, stupid. That was because Jer this was after John was born. So this, he was meant to be John's counterpart. Oh, well, that's fair. But yeah, I, I like that character. That's so sweet. He even sacrificed it. Like, I love it. Exactly. I mean, and like I said, my, there's flaws if you're a longtime fan. Right. But there's going to be in everything, even a little bit. Exactly. And it, it just felt so great. This is what I like about Zod. Complicated character. This was a better Zod than Man of Steel. Oh, yeah. This was a better Zod than even the 78 movie. Yeah, I I can agree. I this Zod was a beautifully drawn, but even so, it was a three dimensional character. Very much so. I mean, again, especially once he once until you got to the Brainiac and Doomsday terrorist, you would have thought like, oh, he's just nuts. Once you found out those right. happened too, you're like, yeesh. Yeah, yeah, and you understand his motivations even if you don't agree with them. Yeah, and they, you know, he says um, before they unleashed their monster with Doomsday, I have a feeling Doomsday got out. I have a feeling he did. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, I mean, I give this an 11 out of 10. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's no all-star, but it's, um, oh, yeah. it's, yeah, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It's really good. Yeah, it's up there, and the artwork is phenomenal. So good. Those panel work. Oh, I love it. Oh, mon -El. Yes, I love Manel. Yeah, I you feel so bad because he's such a tragedy. Mm hmm And exactly. Lex was deliciously evil. Yeah, and, and I I like evil Lex though. If you think about it, Zod and Lex are opposite sides of the same coin. Yeah, they and really are. Is, is, is Lex is being all human superior and Zod is Kryptonian superior. Yeah, and they both say has anybody the ever he does, has yeah. anybody ever um had them team up? No, that would be interesting. No, they didn't. Rob Venditti at least um took Zod and resolved the notion that a Green Lantern let Krypton die. He actually resolved that, but no one's ever done anything with Lex. That would be good. I think it could be interesting. Yep. Well, thank you for joining me on this one, Tristan, and we'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.